did Ben Milliken release a dead fish during the Smith Lake Bassmaster Elite Series? That's what we're going to talk about right now. If you like this kind of content, please do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button. I just have to say thank you again to all the people who are new subscribers or that comment constantly or just give me their opinion. I love reading and seeing all of you and I'm humbled by all of the stuff that's happened over the last few months. So thank you. But if you're not a subscriber, click it and become part of the team. Now, let me say right off the bat, there are always two sides to every story. And I'm going to give you both sides in this video. I am going to try to be as unbiased as possible. But at the end, I want to know what you think. Is Ben guilty of throwing a dead fish back into the water? Now, a little background. At the Smith Lake Tournament for the Elite Bassmasters, on day one, Ben had three fish expire that he weighed in that were dead and he received a penalty for each one of those fish and that had a big influence on his day one weight because honestly he probably would have been in top five i think i don't know officially but i think he probably would have been top five but after day one he was in 17th place ben is very polarizing some people love him a lot of people don't love him he is an amazing salesman for six cents his baits and the stuff he does are incredible and being a rookie on the elite bass masters and living out his dream as a professional bass fisherman you have to give it up to him you also have to give him up give it up to him as a content creator because he is one of the biggest out there and ben is having a great rookie season he is currently 37th he's inside the cut line to make his second classic and during his elite tournaments he vlogs or captures as much as possible. He has a, a cameraman that has another boat that follows him and tries to get as much content as possible for his YouTube channel. Anyway, he made a vlog or a video about his day one on Smith Lake. Now the internet has blown up. Not to a level that if this was Trey McKinney, the internet probably would have shut down. But Ben, being Ben and being polarizing, has, it, this video or this controversy that's happened has really stopped a lot of things. Now we need to be clear, there is a rule in bass, and I need to read it. During competition, anglers will be required to provide, mount, and maintain their own camera. It must be mounted so that it's recording at all times with full view of the angler, their live wells, while fishing. And it goes on to say, now that's just me paraphrasing, but that's the gist of that rule. And here's where it gets a little weird. Ben put out a video. People noticed that there were some issues with it or there was a fish that they thought might be dead and the video went down. So there was no way to prove if it was right or wrong. And quite honestly, finding that video or the title or the thumbnail is really hard to find. I've done a, as much research as I can and I've had a hard time finding it. Beside the point, there's people saying that this video never existed. And it did. And in this video, the video shows Ben calling a fish and it was being released with tags on it. And let's make it very clear. That's probably happened to a lot of people in the, in the, in the mix of the fire of being in competition mode. Maybe you don't notice the tags on the fish. Maybe you do notice the fish because notice them on it because you want that tag to weigh that fish down. There's lots of rumors that are going around. So to start off with, it's a little fishy. If we're going to look at both sides, it's a little fishy that as soon as the video goes up, the video gets taken down when people start questioning if the fish that's being, one of the fish that's being called is not dead. Now, when you look at it in slow motion, the fish looks like it has white eyes and it looks like you, you can see the, the tags on it. Now, there's always, like I said, two sides to every story. I should mention while that video is being slow motion, the problem that you have with slow motion or stop is that there is a lighting effect going on during it. When it's, in, when it's in full motion, you might not have that exact same lighting that you have on that fish. And it looks like, or people perceive that it looks like it's a dead fish. And they have some, some reasonings behind that. First, the video being deleted. Second, the, the tags being on it. And people believe because the tags are on it, that fish wouldn't have floated. It would have sank to the bottom. Nobody would ever know. And you can see the tags on it in the slow motion video. But that video also doesn't show that it's definitely dead. Dead doesn't mean that it isn't just barely surviving. We know that fish 
can get in a live well, be shocked because of cold water or ice, like he probably had to put in at Smith Lake, and those fish are a little bit stunned. They're not as active as they normally would be if they were in the, the warmer water. But it brings up a lot of questions. Is the fish dead? Now I'm gonna put a little clip in here that will show some of it that are just the clips that I can find online, and I appreciate the people that did it, and I'll put a link to their TikTok and, and stuff in the, in the description below. But when you look at this, it looks like the fish is not alive. But again, we're not there to say it. Now, did Bass go back and go collect that camera or that GoPro footage from Ben? Now, the truth of the matter is they have to have that GoPro or a camera running, but it's at random if Bass collects the SD cards. It's not that every car SD card gets sent back or given to Bass to look at footage. It's done randomly if they feel like something is wrong. So we're not sure, or if you speculate that Bass might have that camera footage, it's speculation. It's assuming, and we know what assume means. It doesn't mean that bass has that information. We also really don't know if that fish is really alive or dead. But I can see both sides of which is which story I want to believe. It makes it skeptical that these certain things happen, that the tags are on it, that the video gets instantly deleted, that people are saying that the video doesn't exist, but if it didn't exist, how do we have video? And more. But it also makes me think, you know what, we kind of don't give a lot of anglers we instantly go to they're doing something wrong they're cheating they're skirting that gray area and i believe you can't do that having said that i don't know what i believe when i look at the slow motion footage my mind says that fish doesn't look alive just because of the eyes alone but again it's slow motion footage so we don't really know and i can understand the internet being blown up because of the speculation of the videos taking down and all the other things that happen in an order that just don't make sense. If the fish was alive, why would you delete the video? And this is gonna be crazy to say, but some of these guys need to look at the videos much harder before they put them out. And I'm guilty of that. I could have edited something that would have made life much easier out, but I was just being honest and keeping things real on here. And sometimes that bites you in the ass. But these guys that are, have big YouTube channels have been following, and they have people that don't like what they're doing. Other people are going to be very hypercritical of what they're doing. If it weren't for anglers or if it weren't for people putting up these videos to get acknowledgement, to get the click, to show people what they're doing, we wouldn't have the drama that we have in this industry right now. Now, here's where I want you to tell me. Do you think that all those things that lined up doesn't mean that there was something going on with Ben? Did he throw a dead fish back? Or are we really jumping to conclusions? Now, if you can do me a favor, don't trash me about it. I tried to be as unbiased as possible. I have my, I can see both sides of the story here, but I wanna know what you think. So comment below and tell me what you think. Thanks for hitting that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate everything you guys do. Okay, thank you. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll talk to you very, very soon. Cheers.